Hey everybody! We are coming to you this week since we don't get to meet in person for Joyful for Jesus. Um, we sure are missing everybody. Um, for those of you who don't know us, we're the Sullivans. I'm Tara and this is Henry and we have Mike and Will. They are upstairs but may or may not join us. Um, Miss Christina asked us to send a nice little video for Joyful for Jesus this week and talk about what was on our heart since we've all been at home a lot and um, there's a lot of sickness going around and that's why we have to stay at home. So the first thing that I thought of was our neighbors and our friends. Um, through this time, we have definitely gotten to know more of our neighbors on our street and everyone's out walking and riding bikes and it's been really, really nice um, to get to know people we didn't have time to know before or didn't, we just didn't run into each other. Um, and as far as our friends, we've certainly been missing our friends that we haven't gotten to see because everyone's staying at home. Um, so that's kind of what's on our heart and what we're going to talk a little bit about tonight. Um, on our chalkboard behind us, it's kind of hard to see, but we made some random acts of kindness that we can do for our neighbors and for our friends. So Henry is going to read those to us. Bringing your neighbor's garbage can. Ask an elderly neighbor if there's a chore you can help with. They have a little wave each time you see your neighbors. Write your favorite joke and put it in your neighbor's mailbox. Offer to walk neighbor's dog. Bake cookies for your neighbors. I bet that a lot of you have already done a lot of these things for your neighbors and for your friends. Um, we were thinking about some things we've done. Um, what's one thing we did, Henry? Do those every Thursday. Yep, we do do those every Thursday. Those are bring your neighbor's garbage can and ask an elderly neighbor if you can help with her chore. So our neighbor is 90 um, and she's awesome. We love her, but we, um, we do usually take her garbage can down and back to her house for her on Thursdays. Um, we also have gotten some random acts of kindness. Um, we had friends who left yummy Dunkin' Donuts on our porch for us, which was really nice. And we had one of Henry's sweet friends drew him an awesome picture and left it in the mailbox. So all those things have been super nice. Um, and I know there's just so much more that we can do. And I think that this time that we've been at home and um, just different schedules and not going to school and maybe parents are home and they're usually not it's just given us time to think about all those things and so hopefully it's going to help us as we go forward and things get back to a little bit of normal maybe we'll keep on doing more of those things than we were before i know that we should and we plan to as a family um so we have a short little video that we want to show you um, it might be a little more for the younger kids, but it's pretty cute, so we're just going to show that really quick. Do you ever walk down the street and see houses built close together like this? Yes. Look how close these houses are together. I hope all these people get on well. They certainly are close neighbors. Do you have neighbors that live next door to you? How well do you know your neighbors? Do you help your neighbor when they need you to? It's always good to help your neighbor when you can. But neighbors don't always get along, do they, Zach? Well, not always. Living together with other people has its challenges. But Jesus told us that no matter what our differences are, we are all neighbors. What do you mean by that, Zach? Well, have a look at that man over there. Do you see the man playing an instrument? He is a Levite. Do you see which man is playing an instrument? 
Is this man the Levite? Is he playing an instrument? No, that's not the Levite. Is this man the Levite? Is he playing an instrument? No, that's not the Levite. Is this man the Levite? Is he playing an instrument? Yes, he's playing a lute. This man is the Levite. But what's a Levite, Zack? He's someone born to the honorable family of Levi, a tribe of people that lived in Israel many years ago. Oh, Levi, well, that's me. Does that mean I'm a Levite? Well, not necessarily. Your name is Levi. You're named after the people of the Levi tribe. You might be a descendant of the tribe, but you may not be. You might just be named after them. So, what does a Levite do? A Levite was someone who helped in the temple. They were musicians. They performed some of the religious tasks at the temple, but they also served as temple guards. Oh, I see. So, who's that man standing over there near the Levite? He's a priest. What does a priest do? The priests are the people who teach others the laws of God and the rituals associated with those laws. What family do they come from, Zach? Well, they're also from the Levite tribe. They're Levites too. But these Levites can trace their family all the way back to Levi, the third son of Jacob and Leah. That's why these people can hold the highest position of a priest. Hmm. So, even though they are all Levites, they're all different. Yes, they are all Levites, but they have different roles and different backgrounds. I see. So, who is that man standing over there trying to talk to the priest? Looks like the priest is trying to ignore him. Yes, he's a Samaritan, a man who can also trace his family all the way back to Levi or Ephraim or Manasseh, two sons of Joseph. But why is the priest trying to ignore him if they're from the same family tree? The priest sees things differently to the Samaritan. He thinks that the Samaritan is from a very different background to him. The Samaritans and Levites don't really get along. But they all live together, don't they? They're neighbors, right? Yes, they are. They all live in the same city, the same community. They all pass each other in the street. But they don't even share a friendly smile sometimes. Not often, no. Oh, what a shame. They could be making really good friends with each other. I'm sure they're all nice people. That's right, Levi. If you take the time to get to know people, you never know just how neighborly they can be. Okay. The Sullivans are a little bit technical technologically challenged. Um, but we do our best. So we we picked a couple of Bible verses that we want to read to you tonight that just talks a little bit about neighbors. Um, the first one talks about a good neighbor treats others how they want to be treated. And um, Matthew 7, verse 12 says, So in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. I think we've all heard that before. Like, treat everyone else the way you want to be treated. The second one talks about a good neighbor cares for others. And that verse comes to us from 1 Corinthians um, Chapter 10, verse 24. No one should seek their own good, but the good of others. So hopefully um, you guys can find something um, nice to do for your friends or your neighbors that you're missing. Um, friends that you're missing, maybe a neighbor that you see out in the yard or something like that. Um, you can just wave hello or meet a new neighbor or color a picture and put it on your neighbor's door or anything like that because that makes everyone super happy when we do nice little gestures like that. Um, so we just want to have a little closing prayer. Henry, if you'll hold my hand, let's just say a little prayer. If y'all will join with us. Dear God, 
Help us to be good neighbors and friends by spending our days with smiles on our faces, love in our hearts, and joy in his grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We can't wait to see everybody. Bye.